Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 73 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Today we are going to start driving into chapter 4. So last episode we knocked out chapter 3. That is cool. I do want to poke around through some of these chapters and see if there's anything I'm missing. Uh, the next chapter is obviously to visit Venus, which is which is what we're going to do. So that's going to be the progression chapter. Uh, powering up, we have been doing our fluctuated magnets. I suspect we're going to have a big reactor and or, um, you know... Looks like that's a mechanisms reactor. That might be coming up soon, right? That, that might be a thing, right? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's necessary, but we'll find out. Um, in addition, we're going to check out, let's see, logistics. Not too worried about, you know, we can knock that chapter out like really quick. All we need is a trash can. And then we just need an ultimate trash can. Does that knock out the whole chapter? Yes, but where's my don don don? There it is. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I wanted that noise. Let's go. Uh, real quick, just peeking through some of the other stuff that might be, you know, idea. Pocket dimension backpack. It's bigger on the inside. Well, that's cool. Nice. I already have a backpack though, so I think we're cool. Uh, I'm not too worried about the danks. Digital, we kind of did all the digital stuff we'd want to do with AE. Not worried about you, gadgets and gizmos. Anything in particular that's cool? Uh, oh, there's a creative lava tank. But we need 10,000 buckets of lava. And we have to submit them. And you'll give me a creative lava tank. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We should actually think about doing that. I can get I can get lava, right? I feel like I can get lava. We'll see. Um, Jetpacks, flux storage stuff, crafting station, personal shrinking device, all stuff I've played with before. Base expansion, uh, nothing too crazy there. I just want to see if there's anything that jumps out at me, right? Um, this will be done if we do the Gaia Ritual, which is probably at some point soon. Uh, this one's also pretty close to being done. Occultism? What haven't I done? The Tier 4 storage thingy, and then I'll be done with that. What does that require out of uh, curiosity? That's not terrible. Oh, it needs the Dragon Head. Right, right, right. Okay. Anything else that I need to look at? Let me flip through these real quick just to see if there's anything else that, like, side quest-wise, and then we're going to start on Venus. Cool. All right, so yeah, long story short, as it sits right now, I think I'm in a good place to start. But I suspect, based on the shortness of this chapter, that there's probably something far more complex in our near future. And I'm guessing it might be down in this area. Because I think we're going to have to, like, definitely do mechanism generators to get going. But let's start with Ostrom space plating, right? So to make this, we're going to need Dash space plating, Osmium infused Ostrom plate, refined obsidian plates and enriched diamond so let's take a look um so we're gonna need all four of these now enriched diamonds we already know how to make right so we can scratch that off the list this goes into the quantum assembler by the way so yeah that sounds cool so here's what i'm thinking i'm gonna do you go in a quantum assembler, right? So let's get the patterns going, right? So we already know how to make that. Oh, and apparently you need something I didn't notice. A very tall... <laughs> okay, there's a fluid there. There's a fluid there I didn't notice before. Polytetrafluoroethylene. That really long word of things. Yeah, it's there. Okay, we should put that on the to-do list, right? Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's going to need PTFE. Okay, cool. So that's going to be a whole thing. All right. So we know how to make these, so that's off the to-do list, right? Refined obsidian plate needs refined obsidian ingots. So we can make this, and we can make... So we can just smelt refined obsidian dust in the arc furnace? That's cooler than doing this whole mess, right? Kind of like that. Especially considering we already have the pattern for, you know, that. Right, so that's super cool. Dash space plating needs molten cheese. We can do that for a lot of this. Um, we should get space plating going and dash plates and platy. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Alert, 
large amount of things, right? So, yeah, you go in there, and you go in there. Um, and then refined obsidian can go in here. And the plate can go up here. Cool. And we're going to have another plate recipe very soon, aren't we? All right, so let's get set up to go. So we want Ostrom space plating, right? So these are the things that we're going to need to to automate further. Um, you, Ostrom infuse plate, and probably the molten, molten cheese thing, but we can handle that. Um, okay. So let's start with platinum plates because that shouldn't be hard because we already know how to make platinum. Easy peasy ish. Right, so that means we're gonna need a new pattern here. Yep, I see you goat. No more goat. And you're just gonna sit there. And then some cabling. This is kind of why, I, like, I knew, I knew this was going to be cool, right? Okay. And then platinum plates will be easy to add to this guy. Sweet. Okay. So that takes care of, you know, I better put it in manually just to make sure I get the right chest. Even though it's probably the only iron chest. As for molten cheese, this one should be equally as easy to get going. Uh, we're just going to add cheese to our miscellaneous thing down here. So this one, uh, that's going to become cheese. So where did my stuff go? There it is. Molten cheese. You unlock. Cheese goes in. Relock. And I can just drain you right up. Oh. Okay, so now we have access to cheese. And what we can say is, um, hey, if you want cheese, it's easy. We just magma crucible cheese into whatever that is, 0.1 bucket, right? So magma crucible, that's you. Are you supercharged? You are as supercharged as you can be, sir. Nice. Um, what we'll probably want is a digital miner and a flux point, and yeah, it should be fine. That should be fine. I don't think we need to actually enter this. So let's prep this. Um, your dash, your ostrum, forge, ores, cheese. Hooray, that's what's up. Cool. All right. And then that's going to be on the moon. So let's start prepping that stuff, right? So if we're quick about it, we should be fine. I want to program you ahead of time. Yeah, I'll take a little help. Damage. And then you ignored start. And now you're getting cheese. That works. Not a problem. Okay, now that cheese is being gotten, and we just have to go there to pick it up, obviously, but we can manage that. So that's covered, that's covered. So let's talk. Um, so we wanted uh, Ostrom plating. So really the main two things that we need left now are Osmium and Fuse. So you're done. You know how to be crafted, though there's probably some components like space plating that need to be handled and dash plating. These two definitely need to be handled, right? Because we have some space plating, but we're not auto-crafting it yet. That said, we should be able to easily add that, right? Because what we're going to want to do... Let's get this Let's get this set up, right? Because that shouldn't be a problem. So you're that, and you're this in the pressure chamber. And we already know how to make steel and aluminum, so we just need to add copper plate. And that's all there is to it, right? So wherever platings are, there you are, okay? Um, and then this goes in the... I don't think we actually set anything up over here yet. See, told you we'd need these eventually. And then this guy lives here. Cool. 
So now we have space painting. Okay, so that solves that problem. Um, that's cool. Dash space plating should be good now. So really the last two that we need are this and this, and eventually this. So let's talk about you. So what are you? You are a magma crucible with a PTFE sheet, which is, oh my goodness, some things, some brightly colored things. Uh, so we need HDPE sheets, and you're gonna make hydrogen as a byproduct. Hydrofluoric acid and liquid methane. Hydrofluoric acid is sulfuric acid and fluorite. How are we for fluorite? We have 16 of them. So that's a number that's extremely small. Where do we get fluorite from? Uh, fluorite dust. Fabrication matrix with fluorite combs. Where do we get fluorite dust from? Centrifugal separator, 15% chance. Oh, tell me that's not how I'm supposed to get fluorite. You always need so much fluorite. Please don't make me do that. There's got to be a better way, right? There's got to be a better way. Fluorite blocks, nothing special there. There is a quest for it. Let's see what the quest says. Prepare yourself for what's to come. Thanks, chief. Can't wait. Can't wait. Prepare yourself for what's to come. Overworld has, you know, that. I, you know, either that or fluorite combs. So what we could look at is fluorite bees. So we have to give a fluorite bee to a diamond bee. Uh, and that is a heart of diamond, which is not terrible looking. I think we have Nautilus shells. I think we can do that. To a crystalline bee. And a crystalline B is a pure B with mana cords. We can do that. And pure B, look up the crafting recipe for its spawn egg. The species of B can't breed amongst themselves. So we take a B and we give it a pure daisy and it'll turn into a pure D. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Now we do have some bees over here. We can breed these guys, right? Like does bee breeding actually work? I feel like that might be a thing. Breeding chamber, huh? Bet we could do that. So you need what? Some kind of upgrade base, which is just electrum plates? I can do that. I can do that. Sweet. And then I know we have honey. But let me look into doing this, because we only need like four of you. And we can snag you guys out of here. I, I kind of just been letting these guys sit. But, like, yeah, that's 100% doable. Um, sure. Mystical red flower. Not a problem. Okay. And then we can do the breeder. All right. Let me get this all played with a little bit, and I'll be right back. Because I like the idea of potentially doing this. So we'll be right back. All right. So here's what I've got. Uh, I've got my bee breeding chamber. I tested it a little bit while I was uh, checking it out here. So remember, you just capture a couple bees, and then you give each of them a flower. It'll consume the flowers and start progressing, which you can totally tick accelerate if you wish. Right? And then once they're done, you need a bee cage for them to pop into. And that's where the baby bee comes in, I think. Sweet. And it is a child bee, so you want to be aware of that, right? So, like... These are all child bees. Now, I'm trying to remember, because I don't. Um, but if I put the child bee in here, will they grow up if I tick accelerate it, right? So if I do this, right? So that is a child, that is a child, that is a child, that's an adult, that's a child, that's an adult, that's an adult. Okay, cool. So if I tick accelerate you, will that turn these children into adults quicker? I feel like the answer is yes, because now we have three adults. 
right? And that's an adult. Nice, five adults. So that's how we do it, right? We keep them, we keep them all inside with the simulators and stuff, and then we can take accelerate the machines, and that's how we win. Cool. Does that work? I think that works. Feels like it to me. So that should be cool. All right. So with all that said, we can now um, go give this B. So this is an adult, this is an adult, and this is a child. So let's capture one of the adults. Let's place a child in there. And then that one will eventually grow up. And now what we're gonna wanna do is give this bee a pure daisy. Now I don't know if he's gonna like consume the pure daisy when I do this, but we're gonna find out. Uh, what I'd like to do is have a sturdy bee cage ready to capture him. So if I do that, oh, yes he does. Okay, hello, hello. Catchy, catchy. Hello, pure bee. Oh, it is an adult, though. So that's cool. It's an adult. But it did consume uh, the pure daisy. So let's get... Device is low on power. That's right. I never set up wireless charging, did I? Yeah, I could see that being a little bit of an issue. I mean, we, we lasted pretty long, though. Didn't we? We lasted pretty long. So we're going to want some more pure daisies. Uh, we're going to want at least a couple. So we just need some white flowers. Cool. And some seeds. Now, I don't know how many of these we're going to want, but I think at the very least we're going to want this and this. Cool. Because what I suspect is the following. So now that is an adult pure bee. Okay. This has a regular bee in it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna do that and then I can put this back where he was cool bing bang and now we've got the, the the pure bees and now if I want I can probably breed more of them uh, as needed so pure bees can what um, they can turn into lots of different kinds of bees so we should probably breed them Does that sound cool so I'm going to yank out these bees. We should probably store all these bees in some kind of large size chest. And I'll expand this area as needed. So this is in a, this is uh, what I'll probably do. Let me have this guy. That's a normal adult bee. And you're what? An adult bee as well. So what I'd like to do is this and that. Because I want these two adult bees, adult, adult, regular bees, to chill in here. Cool. Um, and then I can take my pure bee and my pure bee. And do we have bone meal? We do. So here's a trick, you ready? I figured out what bone mealing means. Aha! What's up, flowers? Now, hopefully that's breeding? No. So, pure bees... Do they have to be mystical flowers? They might need to be mystical flowers. So, let's get a couple mystical red flowers here and see if my guess is correct. Nope. Also not. True. Adult breeding types any flower. Adult breeding types any flower. Can they not be bred? Maybe they can't be bred. Be flowering, be conversion. So maybe they can't be bred. That's okay, because it's easy enough to make new ones of those, right? I just breed the regular bees and then we're cool. So let's take the pure bee and get a crystalline bee by getting some mana quartz. Okay, so you're going to want mana quartz. So let's get, oops. Cool. And then what we'll do is we'll take the two pure bees that we have. There you go. There's one. 
There's two. And now we've got two crystalline bees. So that's cool. And then we're going to want to get diamond bees. We're going to want hearts of diamond times two. And then we can get blocks of fluorite for the next stage, right? So diamond bees, we need hearts of diamond times two. So that's going to need you and you. So we're going to need some nautilus shells, which I suspect I have some of. And we can drop that right here. And there you go. Heart of the sea. Nice. Not terrible. And for you, Crystallized Obsidian, we need super cooling. Do we have a super cooler? If I do, it would be over here. Super cooler. Nice. All right. So then you can probably not need any of that stuff anymore. But I'm going to make sure that you're not dumping. Cool. Okay. And then for this guy to be made, we're going to need liquid slime, which can be made in the Slow Melter 9000. 250 for a slime ball, and we need 500 to make this. So that's two slime balls per. So if I got four slime balls. Now before we make that, let's make sure that we have these, because I'm sure we have blocks of amethyst and emeralds, right? Yes, emerald and amethyst were cool on. Cool. So you two, you two, but we're gonna need crystallized amber, which is gonna be either 500 of honey. You need fire coral? Like you need fire coral? Okay, that's a new one. Uh, gold, fire charge, and 100 millibuckets of lava. So I could do that with a bucket and get 10 of these, right? Yeah. Do we have an extra fire charge? Just to be, nope. Now we do. And I'm sure we have fire coral over here, right? Fire coral, yes. Cool. And then finally we needed 10 gold. So that means you, you, and you, and then just a bucket of lava. And now you're cool. That'll make all those. And then we can melt you guys down. Where'd you go? Oh, you went into there, okay. Cool, now you're done. You go in there. Bing, bang, boom, sweet. All right, so we need just a few more of those, right? Because I miscounted. So I'll be back once I craft them. All right, so that's one heart of diamond. Two hearts of diamond. And then that will be diamond bees, right? Hey. Sweet. Okay. And then you're an adult bee. I should really do something else with you, but whatever. You're full. Okay, so you... There we go. That's an extra adult bee for you. So we've got diamond and crystalline. And that's it now? Good. That's what I'd want to see. Crystalline can come out. Diamond can go in. And that works for me. And that's a success. Cool. So now that we've got these guys, we need fluorite blocks to give them. So fluorite looks like a hassle to get, but we can beat it up. And that would be cool, right? Because once we get some fluorite combs, um, it's a 50% chance to turn a fluorite comb into wax. Mm. Not great. But not terrible. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth it. I'm I'm hesitant to say this is going to be worth doing, but it might be. We'll see. Because uh, the only other way that I see to get fluorite is via fluorite dust. And the only way I see to get that is a centrifugal separator of granite. With a 15% chance. Right? 
Now, in fairness, what we could do, uh, we'll have to see what's faster as a more passive, but we could set up a dedicated centrifugal separator, right? So if we set up a dedicated centrifugal separator, do we have a granite producer over here? That I'm not sure about. Um, do we even know how to make Constantin? Let's get that added to the gear recipes. Uh, gears, 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 gears. Where are you, gears? There you are. Cool. Okay. So now centrifugal separator. Do we have granite over here? We don't, but I bet I could get it. So granite can be made with smooth polished granite will turn into granite. Hopefully not going to have granite cobblestone happening, but if we do, we'll deal with it. Um, alternatively, Stonework generation needs and consumes. It looks like making granite consumes lava. So we probably don't want that process. So my best suggestion will be one of you. So let's do pedestals. Uh, we've got an import upgrade, so that's cool. We've got a couple pedestals. We have our work tool. I don't think I need you actually, but I do want one of these. Never heard stuff. A few extra buckets. You and Waller. Perfect. And then we're going to want some granite, which, by the way, I could get diorite. And I assume it's this for polished granite, right? And that looks cool to me. So you pedestal offhand, and I'm pretty sure you're going to need a pickaxe of some kind. Offhand pick. Yeah, it's doing cobblestone. Bummer. There's a proper way to remove that. I just forget what it is. So how do you think I could get... Um... So you think I could get like silk touch of some kind? That's doable, right? I like that. Let's do that. Two emeralds, two diamonds, two source gem blocks. Two emeralds, two diamonds, two lapis blocks. Two source gem blocks. And a book. Aha! So touch, right? That works. Cool. And then, did I have an anvil handy somewhere? I would have expected it to be in this general area if I did.
So then we're just going to put u plus, oh. And then I can put u over here now, and that should be cool. Haha, <laughs> granite. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, then uh, we will have another functional storage drawer. U. We're going to want the linking tool. Remember, it's receiver to source. And then I'm pretty sure I want you to be export upgrade, right? Perfect. And then we can lock you. And then we can integrate you into this drawer system. So now we have access to the granite. Right, and then we just need to centrifugal separate the granite. And I'm pretty sure we have power over here, so that's cool. So what we could do is we could say, you ready for this? I got an idea. Um, so these bees might still play a role, but we'll see. <clears throat> so if we ran some flux, to here, okay. Um, now you are on the up extracting on arm, right? So what if I did laser IO, I made you accept on the right, okay? And we said you can insert filter on orange granite, right? Is that cool? And then you have a chance of making either uh, when you centrifugal separate fluorite dust or gravel. And between the two of them, we can get that in a functional storage drawer that is pushed up, auto eject enabled. Cool. And then if we got you working with you, granted this is going to be slower than that, but it's a it's a it's a thing we can solve eventually, right? Maybe we'll see. But that's pretty cool. And there's your fluoride dust. And then if we want, right, we can lock and link. Boom and boom. So now he is linked to here, and I should have access to my fluoride dust that's getting created via the AE system. Is that cool? I believe that to be cool. Okay. The only thing I wouldn't mind is having you just be a little bit faster. I think the only way I'm going to facilitate a speed upgrade is if I do that upgrades thing, right? Because I can do the upgrade modifier. We should probably look at doing one of those. That would be cool. I always hate this thing because I always forget how it works and I always feel really stupid because I'm like, why is it not working the way I want it to? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm being, I'm being doofy. What even is this? Modification table from chisels and bits. Okay. Luckily, we have all the things we need for that. Quest completed. Bind pedestal to the upgrade. The bound order matters. Insert upgrade into pedestal on top of chest and insert fusion items in order. Upgrade goes in below chest. Uh, bind pedestals to the upgrade. So if I remember correctly, we're gonna want some pedestals. I think we're getting close to wrapping up, but I think I can pull this off quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Do we not have any stone? Ah. 
cool. Oh, that's called Andesite, my bad. Oh well. Uh, pedestals, 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 where are you? Pedestals. There you are. Sweet. So I'm thinking we could like just position this right here-ish. That's, you know, it's a little cramped, but I think it's fine. Right? Isn't that it? And then we want a chest below the pedestal, if I remember correctly. That's the part that was always confusing. And then we want a work area. Is that right? A work area card? Pedestal locations. Yes. Selection area has been cleared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. And then this goes in here. This goes in here. Okay. And then if I want you, and it's not the work tool, is it? Tag, upgrade. I think it's upgrade tool. There we go. This goes in the chest. And then the diamond. And the obsidian. Go like that and that. Cool. And that should have made you speed 10 out of 40. Speed 20 out of 40. 30 and 40 and then I put you here and you should be like carousing now right so you've already got 64 granite you actually just can't transfer fast enough right and then we need pedestal speed faster transfer rate dudes right uh, which is range augment capacity augment speed so I think capacity increases item transfer rate and speed decreases the number of ticks so I could do something like that. Now you're transferring a larger amount at a time. And then you could go in here and be like one, two, three, four. And now you're transferring at a pretty good clip. Probably faster than we need it to be, but that's okay. For now, Delta I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time. More um, bee stuff because we can get some good resources out of bees that might be trickier than otherwise. Um, so it's good to know that that's an option for us. Um, so we'll keep, we'll keep those bees in there, um, along with any other bees we might have. Because I know we have some eggs, so that's cool. Nice. Alright, and then when we come back next time, we'll continue down the path to see what the deal is with fluorite. Uh, the hope is that by just letting this thing run, we'll just accumulate a lot of fluorite. It'll be slowish, but it'll work, right? Uh, and that's cool by me. So for now, Delta 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I don't know where all the gravel's going. Where's all the gravel going? That's weird. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? It's probably just getting pulled out for that. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, for now, take it easy.